play a little game today, y'all. Um, the game is well. Before we play the game, we're gonna make we're gonna put some stakes on this. I can't really see you guys. There we go. Put some stakes on this. So, I it's a trivia game. That's as much as you know. I already played the trivia game. You guys have to beat my score. And if you beat my score, you guys get something. If you don't, I get something. So, I'll let you guys think about what we want those stakes to be. Okay, not real stakes either. I'm not bringing stakes in for you guys. Um, so before further ado, we're gonna introduce our players. If you're not familiar with our Garrett's and Tech podcast, um, we have three people who have been on many episodes this season. But I'm going to announce our players. We have Peyton Abraham, Nora Bonte, and Hunter Abraham. Welcome, you guys, to our trivia game. Do you guys have the stakes? Or does anybody else have stakes? Okay. For us, <laughs> no, we'll just figure out. Okay. Okay. So if we win, we aren't editing another video for the rest of the school year. A school year? <laughs> for the yeah. whole year. Oh, I can't go with that. Wrong. No way. You guys should beat me with this, guys. What semester? Rest of the well, hold on. Uh, okay, hold on. We got all of our entire the entire third quarter. I have okay. yeah, the entire third quarter, no editing. That seems like a lot. Okay, but you have to be in a lot of videos then. Okay, that's okay. Deal. Okay. That's, that's a good deal. Easy part. Huh? That's, that's a easy. good part. Deal. No editing. That's a, that's a, we're actually all no winning editing. in this, right? If Wait, they're not editing. This quarter too? <laughs> no, third quarter. You still have to. Okay. No, I'm gonna say you have to fulfill your yeah. episode. Yeah. yeah. But then I won't put you on another. Deal. Okay, perfect. Till the fourth quarter? Fourth quarter we can <sighs> Yeah, we'll see. No third quarter. Yeah, but if that's... Uh... Yep, that's the... All right, let's mm -hmm. go. Nine okay, well, well, yeah, okay. All right, that's if you beat me. And what, what if you don't beat me? What do you want? Then they edit every video. I don't, that, I don't want that, though. Yeah, he doesn't want that. <laughs> it's that win for you, me. What do you want? <sighs> you guys are... In charge of bringing food for our Thanksgiving episode next week, Tuesday. Ooh, I could do that. Okay. okay. Appetizer each. Appetizer each. Appetizer each. I, I do. Okay. Appetizer each. Okay. You guys good with that? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's get to our game. Um, our game, I need um, Preston or Mav, one of you, or Riley over my left shoulder here. I'm going to turn this microphone on. Um, I need you to just verify that I'm not cheating. I'm not giving wrong answers. I'm not putting it on the screen. Uh, but I just need you to help verify this, okay? All right, so we've been talking a lot on this uh, podcast about pretty much how old I am, right? I'm pretty old. I'm not Gen Z. You guys are Gen Z. I'm millennial. Okay. So I just typed in a BuzzFeed quiz of a TV trivia quiz that will separate Gen Zers from millennials. Okay? Right. I don't think some of these are Gen Z questions, but I didn't make them up straight from BuzzFeed. You see that, right? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Go ahead. I do see it. Okay. So I'm going to ask you these questions. My results are also on here, so we're going to keep track of how many they got right, and we'll see my results. So I'm going to ask you the question. The only difference is, is I got to see pictures. You guys will not get to see pictures. So that might hurt your chances, but I, th I think fair all in all since it says Gen Z versus Millennial. Okay. I think I need the pictures. Well, tough luck. Yeah, that's that stuff. So, we'll let Riley be the judge of this as well, because I have no that, idea. That these was... So, first question to you guys. Okay, there's 12 total questions. Okay, I'm not telling you how many I got right or wrong before the end of it. So, I could have gotten all these wrong. You have no idea, and we just wasted our time with the, this bet, but I didn't get them all wrong. Okay, so, first question. What snack was Cat Valentine obsessed with on Victorious? I will give you the options. Mm -hmm. Candy corn, jingle jangle, fizzle rocks, bibble. Bibble. Bibble is correct. That is one for you. Um, I got it wrong. Do you guys want me to go through when I got it wrong? Yeah. I said fizzle yeah. rocks. I was incorrect. So one to zero. What's bibble? Well, I, well, I think it's just popcorn. popcorn. Yeah. <laughs> the picture. <laughs> Question number two. What was the name of the musical group that Penny and her friends made on The Proud Family? Girls in Motion, LPDZ, Bubblicious, or Penny and the Peeps? You want me to read it again? Yeah. Please. Okay. 
question is, what was the name of the musical group that Penny and her friends made on The Proud Family? Girls in Motion, LPDZ, Bubblicious, or Penny and the Peeps? Please no answers from the background. This, this is a hard one. Girls in Motion. It is not Girls in Motion. It is LPDZ. I said Bubblicious, so I also got that one wrong. Um, I've never heard of the Proud Family. Neither have we. Yeah, no idea. Okay, you guys are way too old for Gen Zers, it seems like. Okay, here we go. This one I think they're going to get, right? Yeah. Probably. Okay, what was the name of Teddy Duncan's best friend on Good Luck Charlie? Oh, Ivy Wentz, Luna Wright, Quinn Smith, or Angelica Law? Ivy Wentz or whatever it was. Ivy Wentz is correct. I went with Angelica Law because um, Rugrats had Angelica on it. That's the only reason why I chose it. Did you get every question wrong? No. Are you sure? <laughs> so two to zero. I got that one wrong. Hey, I need you the gum maybe. Put it on your finger for the rest of the day. I just <laughs> swallowed it. Okay, good. <laughs> Could you um, hear it? We in the Garrison Tech Blue Dragon Buzz do not advocate swallowing your gum. It doesn't do anything to you. It stays in your stomach for seven no, years. No, it does not. Look, yeah. look it up. All right, next question. So it is currently 2-0, right? Yeah. Rainy Rodriguez played a character named Trish on which show? Yeah, Austin and Allie, Drake and Josh, iCarly, or Ant Farm? Austin and Allie. Austin and Allie is correct. I did get this one right. Oh, good job. Yes. Good job. Yes, I didn't know what Ant Farm was, so it was a big toss-up for me. I've never watched, I've never watched Ant Farm, Austin and Allie. Drake and Josh is a classic. you never seen Drake and Josh? I do not believe so. I've never seen an episode of iCarly, but I just had a feeling. iCarly is good. Okay, so three to one. What were the names of Ginger's two best friends on As Told by Ginger? Ashley and Kayla, Kelly and Brenda, Dodie and Macy, or Courtney and Miranda? <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> Can you read through that Yes, again? sorry. Um, you want me to do the question or you want all the answers? Just the answers. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ashley and Kayla, Kelly and Brenda, Dodie and Macy, Courtney and Miranda. Yeah, okay, that one. Kelly and Brenda. Kelly and Brenda is incorrect. Oh, it is Dodie and Macy. As Told by Ginger is an old show. What is that? Never heard of it. Um, Macy Gray sings the intro, is what I can tell you. The intro is fantastic. Did you get, Look did it up. you get it right? Whoops. Yeah, of course I got it right, as told by Ginger. I just went because who's going to put Dodie in one of the answers, you know? Yeah. So that's why I chose it. So 2-2? Two, two? Or 3-2? 3-2. Uh, okay, I'm still in this, baby. All right. Who voiced Monique on Kim Possible? Raven Simone, Keely Williams, Monique Coleman, or Tia Maori? I will say them again. Raven Simone, Keely Williams, Monique Coleman, or Tia Maori? Keely Williams. Is incorrect. It was Raven Simone. I also got this one wrong. I said Tia. Tia and Tamara, if you guys remember that old show. <laughs> nope. Uh, Tia and Tamara. I know, like, what's the movie called? Tia and Tamara, the show. They had a show together called Tia and Tamara. Does it, does it Raven Simone play in that one show? That's so Raven. It? That's so yeah, that's so rave. I love that show. Yes, I was gonna pick her too, and I moved down here because I was like, no way. She was. She had shows while this was going on. She's just a stud. Yeah, it was my bad. Obviously, three two yet. All right. What is this? Which character did Nikki date on sixteen? Looks like an off-brand Total Drama Rama. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Total Drama <laughs> Island. Uh, Wyatt. Yeah, I meant Total Jonesy, Drama. Jonesy, Jen, or Jude. What was the question? <laughs> Which character did Nikki date on 16? Wyatt, Jonesy, Jen, or Jude? Is there a picture to this one? Yes, but you don't get the picture. We've already established that. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. The Me six, neither. 16? Yeah. Me neither. I, I guessed. Do you, do you think they'll know it if you uh, spell it how it is? <sighs> no. Can, can you? The show? Yeah. The show is not only 16, but it is a number six followed by the word teen. 16. If that helps. Clever. Hopefully that helps you. Wyatt. No, we didn't hear anything you said. Well, you should have been listening. Can we say Wyatt? Wyatt? Wyatt is incorrect. I also chose Wyatt. It's Jonesy. The guy from Fortnite. The guy from Fortnite that... Jonesy, not Jonesy. Yeah, I don't think you would have got it. The reason why I can't show you guys the pictures is because it shows you which Whoa. is the wrong answer, right answer. Whoa. How did Carly find out that Freddie and Sam kissed on iCarly? Carly walked in on them kissing. Carly tricked Gibby into telling her. Carly <laughs> Gibby. found... 
<laughs> Sorry. Carly, when I don't know what's going on in any of these answers, you can't laugh because I thought I said the wrong word. Carly found Sam's hair on Freddie's shirt, or Sam confessed while on laughing gas? I'll read all of the answers again. Carly walked in on them kissing. Carly tricked Gibby into telling her. Carly found Sam's hair on Freddie's shirt, or Sam confessed while on laughing gas? Confessed while on laughing gas. That is correct. Yeah. Four to two. <laughs> I thought she walked in on him. You should play the no. Gibby clip where he jumps. I don't know who Gibby is. <laughs> what? Gibby! 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 Jeez, that was loud. Oh, was it? Yeah. Whoops. Okay, so four to two, and I believe there's only a couple questions left. Oh, this one's easy. Ooh, looking good for us third what is the name of Cosmo and Wanda's baby on the Fairly Odd Parents? Puff, zap, poof, or whoop? You guys should get this. <laughs> Uh, I got it right, so. Poof. Poof is correct. Yeah. Sweet guess or answer. Five three. Five to three. Um, I believe there are just a couple left now. I think I said that last time. Which shows did the Sweet Life on Deck have a crossover with? Have a crossover with. That's So Raven in Hannah Montana. Hannah Montana in Good Luck Charlie. Wizards of Waverly Place in Hannah Montana. Wizards of Waverly Place in Shake It Up. So that eliminates one of your three answers. Yeah. <laughs> hey, weren't these the, the weren't these guys on answers. Good Luck Charlie? No. Uh, okay, sorry. Maybe. That's Old Raven in Hannah Montana. Hannah Montana and Good Luck Charlie. Wizards of Waverly Place in Hannah Montana, or Wizards of Waverly Place and Shake It Up. On oh God. The Wizards of Waverly Place in Hannah Montana. That is correct. I said Hannah Montana and Good Luck Charlie. Um, I've never heard of Wizards of Waverly Place. I thought it was a made-up show. Which brings me to my next question. Who ended up keeping their powers at the end of Wizards of Waverly Place? Alex? Justin. Alex and Max. Alex and Justin. Wait. I don't know. Max is the younger brother. Yeah. We don't like him. He didn't survive. Um, <laughs> What? Survive? Spoilers? How about, whoa. This is really old. You guys should be closer to those microphones. Yeah, you should. Really echoey. It's like you guys forgot that there's microphones in this game. I don't know. Alex, Justin, Alex, and Max, or Alex and Justin? Yeah, I, you're, I, guys, I didn't get more than three right. I don't think. Alex and Justin. Alex and Justin is correct. Is that seven? Yeah, that's seven. My goodness. <laughs> What was Isabella's catchphrase on Phineas and Ferb? You got this. What you doing? You got it, dude. I'm good, sweets. I know what we're doing, going to do today. What you doing? What you doing is correct. Can I do my impression? I also got that right. Yeah, we'll take an impression. Good job. What you doing? What you doing? Kind of good. Okay, that's all of them. Eight out of 12 or seven? Seven. I think they eight. got seven. They got the last one, right? Oh, yeah. So eight. Yeah, eight. eight. Okay. I got four out of 12, and they said, I'm not a Gen Z. It seems that you're probably not a Gen Zer. To be honest, I don't think you're a uh, cusper or millennial either. Couldn't tell you what either of those I don't know what a cusper is. Do you guess? No. Like on the cusp of being a Gen Z, maybe? Cusper? No, that makes sense. I think of custard, like the dumb. Mm. No, cusp. Like, if you're on the cusp yeah, of something, I, you're, like, almost there. I just want... 8 out of 12. Maybe a millennial. Ha! <laughs> so, you, so you knew a few of these, but not enough to be certified Gen Zer. I'm thinking you're a millennial. Maybe a cusper, if I'm being generous. Where you guys are in the 76th percentile. You scored better than 76% of all the quiz yes, takers. That is good. Disney Channel. Yeah. Did I you know, know all those happened. answers? Most of them. Okay, so yeah, there you go. Um, that was way to go, guys. Um, again, let's. So no third quarter editing for you guys. Let's uh, go ahead and give them a round of applause, Hunter, How does this? Nora, and.